Hello friends, this video includes a BH curve and related topic like uh, like what is hysteria risk, uh, relationship between B and H and on which factor basically this uh, relationship uh, depends. So as you know before I go into the detail of this BH curve how basically it uh, form and uh, what uh, is the retentivity what is the coercivity all these things uh, i want to share one more important information with you that uh, which factors are basically in relationship b and h depends in the first case you see this formula b is equal to mu naught h plus i here the relationship between b and h uh, include the intensity of magnetization also so this concept then you have to go in a old picture here you, uh, the meaning of intensity of magnetization is what here you can see four picture in which case basically you see the maximum magnetization so obvious uh, uh, this particular uh, section basically represent the maximum intensity of magnetization because all the magnetic dipoles are aligned in a particular uh, direction right and in the case of c you see here some magnetic dipoles are aligned in a different direction but most of them are in a, in a magnetic field direction so, so if we compare actually these two pictures so we can say that uh, this is less magnetized as compared to this one right so these are some part uh, of the discussion and uh, here in the second formula as you see b is equal to mu h i have written here mu h it means i am uh, discussing with you magnetic flux density and uh, magnetic field intensity within the material right so here you can see the linear relationship between the b and h so here uh, at any point actually on the curve which you see in bh curve right uh, one have to take the slope or take the ratio right uh, b upon for b upon h for the calculation of mu so the uh, actual uh, thing is that one have to take the ratio for an example if i have to find out here so what i have to do i have to use uh, the uh, ratio b and h here right uh, so this at this point at this point at this point the ratio but uh, when i take the ratio at this particular point uh, which is uh, basically known as uh, retentivity in positive direction so if h is equal to zero here and uh, you observe some value of b so mu becomes infinite so i could not understand this thing if you have some idea about it right mm, so how this mu becomes infinite in this case right that permeability becomes infinite and what is an application of that right this situation we observe here with this formula uh, but i am not going into that discussion my point is here to explain the basic concept of the bh curve so for this purpose uh, let me take uh, one example suppose uh, this is magnetic material and you put it in uh, external magnetic field right magnetic field lines actually uh, cross each this like this one so this material basically get magnetized right uh, so here uh, when we increase the intensity of external magnetic field as you uh, see here i have taken h on x axis so at every point uh, this uh, curve goes like this one if i join all the point this is the maximum value right of the external magnetic field intensity so we can increase it right uh, so now uh, when i start to decrease the magnetic field intensity uh, this actually doesn't follow the same path this one which is known as uh, initial magnetization curve o2p so the 
नेचर और यू कैन से द बिहेवियर ऑफ द मैग्नेटिक मटेरियल डजेंट फॉलो द ओरिजिनल का और इट फॉलोज बेसिकली दिस काइंड ऑफ पाथ राइट एंड हियर व्हेन इंटेंसिटी ऑफ एक्सटर्नल मैग्नेटिक फील्ड इज जीरो व्हेन आई राइट फिक्स द वैल्यू ऑफ एक्सटर्नल मैग्नेटिक फील्ड इंटेंसिटी जीरो सो आई ऑब्जर्व सम मैग्नेटिक फील्ड फ्लक्स डेंसिटी इन साइड right so here is still the magnetic material is magnetized and when i go in opposite direction right here at this particular point you observe that magnetic flux density is decreasing like this at this point here at this point here so when i approach at this particular point hc which is denoted by hc so then that time this b of this material get zero here at this particular point so these are two different uh, observation here when h is equal to 0 i observe b maximum right uh, oh, sorry uh, i got this this is denoted by br b maximum is at this particular point here correspond to this one so this is br and uh, known as retentivity and retentivity is the property of the material uh, uh, to store the magnetization and on the other hand when I go in opposite direction of the applied magnetic field intensity I observe at this particular point at C right that uh, then that time B gets zero so this particular value of uh, external magnetic field intensity is known as coercive field intensity or in general coercivity so these two terms right one is the retentivity second is the coercivity we use from the bh curve so when i further go in a opposite direction at this value here at this value this point at this here at this is again the same which was in the positive direction now i am in opposite direction this is negative edge so uh, this is the maximum intensity which i can provide to this material then that time I observe this saturation point here, the maximum magnetic field intensity in opposite direction. So, here I tell you two things. Uh, when I am approaching to the magnetic field intensity in positive direction, then that time uh, the magnetic dipole uh, over align in this direction, and this is the magnetic field direction, you can say H right and uh, on the other hand when i apply the mag uh, magnetic field intensity in opposite direction minus h in that case what will happen in opposite uh, situation actually these magnetic dipoles uh, will rotate like this and comes in this situation right towards the magnetic field direction like this so here at this point uh, at this point uh, you can say this is a p uh, you can give it uh, the q at q point actually what happens if uh, the mag all magnetic dipoles are aligned in this direction so here they will align in this particular direction right and this is the maximum value of the magnetic field so intensity of magnetization you measure here so again the intensity of magnetization is in opposite direction here it is towards this edge positive edge here this is towards minus edge so magnetic dipoles actually rotate uh, in this situation and when you further move towards the positive side of the intensity magnetic field intensity then also it, uh, it starts to decrease and here here or when you are at this particular point of the magnetic field intensity when you are here so uh, b basically is decreasing but and when h is equal to zero again you observe the magnetization in opposite direction right further i am decreasing the intensity but right now i'm moving towards the positive direction and by this way i reach at this particular p point so here what you have noticed you notice that magnetic dipoles uh, which were in uh, a random direction first of all uh, you applied some magnetic field and as a result uh, um, magnetic dipoles try to align in the magnetic field direction uh, 
uh, right so here you can see the case now the magnetic field intensity strength is more as compared to this one and the last one when you apply the h max then that time all the magnetic dipoles are in a uh, magnetic field direction so this kind of uh, behavior we observe in bh curve right so uh, when uh, you obtain uh, uh, this kind of situation at p point then after what you do you just uh, start to decrease the magnetic field intensity and then after you move towards the opposite direction negative direction and then after you get uh, follow this one then this one and after that in opposite uh, to this all these but in opposite direction so uh, this kind of situation basically happens inside the uh, material uh, i hope you are getting this idea and uh, the more important thing is b is equal to b maximum when h is equal to 0 and uh, no b is equal to br this is by mistake and b is equal to br that is retentivity when h is equal to 0 this this situation and when b is equal to 0 then that time h is equal to hc you which you are calling coercivity right so what you are doing basically you are uh, trying to align this magnetic dipole in uh, this particular direction and uh, using uh, magnetic field intensity and because of that you are doing some work and as a result uh, energy is going to be uh, lost right so uh, we have to find out in the next case that uh, how basically energy is lost and uh, how one can determine that right this is the uh, pa next part of this uh, video so I am just giving the idea of it I will discuss it uh, further in the third part of this video energy loss due to hysteresis here what we do we just take an example of uh, ferromagnetic material and uh, as you know that there are uh, suppose n number of magnetic domains uh, so each domain have their own specific magnetic moment uh, which we consider here capital m and n number of the magnetic domains so all these things uh, uh, I will explain in the next picture but before that uh, there is a supporting physical concept uh, maybe you have written uh, read it uh, in plus two that there is a uniform magnetic field which in which you put a bar magnet at a specific angle and magnetic field try to align it in the magnetic field direction right now you have put it on theta angle so how much work basically magnetic field uh, uh, do on this magnetic dipole to align that particular direction that formula generally we use minus mu dot b on the same basis we will try to drive the relationship for bh curve right but this is the part of next video so thanks for watching this question if you have any doubt or uh, or you need any clarification you can ask the question